بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه صلوا عليه صلى الله عليه وسلم الليلة مع العادة الثالثة من عادات النجاح tonight إن شاء الله the third habit of the seven habits of the highly successful people we discussed so far two of them and if you can remind me of the first two the first one was of the seven habits of successful people was being being proactive being proactive being proactive after uh, and and we talked uh, about it in detail which mainly means to have a positive attitude to take responsibility of your life to stop blaming on things that that are outside your capacity outside your control and to focus more on what you can do and to take responsibility of your life so it's mainly an approach, it's mainly uh, a mindset. You did not do anything so far, but you have an approach or mindset to do things. Habit number two was begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind. Try to have some clear goals for your life and focus on them. Without having a goal, you would be working haphazardly right and left. You would be wasting your time. You would not have uh, any clear uh, vision in your life. So you have to set some goals and you have to have those clear all the time. If you want to finish uh, the year, you have to have this clear in your mind. I need to, those kind of credits or I need to finish. So you have to have this in mind. That's why you will be working all year round towards this. Jannah is there, you are working to it. So uh, the, 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 the target, whatever it is for an akhira, for a dunya, it should be clear in your mind and the target for any Muslim uh, the overall target is Jannah and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the meantime you can achieve so many targets so number one being proactive number two begin with the end in mind have your goal as clear as you know crystal clear in your mind and don't let anything affect uh, you approaching this goal like in the case of he was offered at a certain point to uh, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to demolish and to remove all of his enemies from his way when they refused to listen to him, but he did not go for this option. He said, no, I hope that Allah will get from them a generation that will worship him. So his target, his goal was so clear in his mind, he is not coming to destroy, he is coming to build, he is coming to guide people. So that was not his goal. Number three tonight, inshallah, we will talk about it uh, briefly. Uh, uh, we said being proactive, begin with the end in mind. First things first. Tonight, first things first, what are you talking about? Priorities, priorities. If we get a, 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 a jar or a container or a big cup or something, and I ask uh, you or I bring some uh, big stones, and I fill it with, um, with those stones, do you think we will have any place, and if it's full completely, do you think we will have any other place or space in this jar or container to add anything else? If it's full with all of these stones, the answer probably is not. This was done by one of the professors. He asked his uh, students, he got a jar and he filled it with all of these stones. Do you think there's any space? No, there's no space. They said he actually added more little stones. He said, yes, there is a space. And he added a lot of other stones. And he said, he said do you think there is a space that's left in there? They said, probably not. He said, yes, there is a space, and he added sand. You keep adding sand, it will fill in in between. He said, do you think there is other, still other space? And he said, we don't know. He said, yes, there is space left for water. He added water. So the main thing is uh, filling the big uh, goals in your life or the big priorities in your life first in your life. Otherwise, you will never be able to make it. Because if you start the other way around, if you got all the sand in first, if you put all the little things in your life, the little trivial matters first in your life, which is the jar, what's going to happen to the jar? Do you think you, you're, you're going to be able to put any of the big stones in there? You will not. If you fill it with sand and little rocks and little stones, you will never be able to find uh, space for the big ones. But if you, do the, if you do it the right way, which is fit the big goals first, fit the big things first in the jar, you fit all of them, success in life, career, whatever, and obviously above all of these, Al-Jannah and Al-Akhirah and Allah all of them are there, and then you can sit around 
all the other things, uh, the fun part, the whatever part, it will fit in and it will not affect them much. So it's, it's mainly about management of your time. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is telling us that the most uh, uh, precious, valuable thing that anybody can have or usually, usually people lose them so easily. Health and time. You're healthy, you are alive, you have time now. That is, you lose very easily. If you have a precious thing like gold, silver, diamond, then you go into the market and you just sell it for a couple of dollars. You lose a lot, that's Ghabun. So, they have this kind of treasure, precious thing, and you lose so easily. So he's telling us that you can do a lot of things in dunya al This is the form of the hereafter. You can do a lot of good things in there uh, for uh, the hereafter. So, but what do we do with our life? We might lose it. We might. And he said in other in other hadith when he was asked who is the best of people, he said, The best of all people is somebody who lived long and he has good deeds. He fit some good things in there into his life and he has a, he has a long life. Not only a long life in itself. Because it could be, uh, it, it's based on the action, whether it's good or bad. So long life with good action, full of good things and good goals and good priorities in there, you will win. And he told us, and Allah said, the best thing you can ever do, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love, the best is, مَا تَفَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ عَبْدِ بِشَيْءٍ أَحَبْ إِلَيَّ مِمَّا If thought to we have priorities. Everything in Islam is important. There is nothing that's uh, not important, but the level or the, um, the, the, uh, how do you say, the amount of pri or the priority will be given to certain things. If you have five minutes and uh, you have to pr pray Salat al-Asr or pray Salat al-Sunnah, extra prayer, you pray Salat al-Asr for Allah. Do the, the obligations first. Do the obligations. What's obligatory in you to do now? You are, you, have, you are obliged to do certain things at certain times if you are asked to give a testimony right now. It's an obligation for you right now to give this testimony. If it's uh, now you are at work and, and, and you are in position, so it's a, it's a, a fault, an obligation for you right now to be honest as far as your job, as far as whatever you are doing. So do the obligations and then comes the, the other things you can definitely do, but obligations come number one. So it's mainly about time management, life management, priorities sitting, priorities sitting, you know, uh, goals first. This is probably the first phase or stage of action because we were talking before about being proactive which is an approach it's a mindset and number two have a goal begin with the end in mind so you didn't do anything yet you're just setting a goal and now the beginning of work is i'm ready to work i'm proactive i have a goal what to do let's put the big things first so you will come across so many things in your life uh, some family needs, some friends requests, some, so many things that will come across your life. If you respond to all of these things, you will waste your life. Your life will be done. It's okay many times to say no for many of these things for the sake of bigger goals. You need this time, like you have to work, you have an exam in a couple of months, for example, and you are preparing for this exam. And this friend invites you for a meal and, and, and you have a, a community, whatever this. That, so if you keep responding to all of these, you will waste the time that's not needed right now. Actually, it's needed. You will be tested in two months. But you have to invest for the bigger goal and give it priority over anything, even if it's so, like in front of you right now, or you have to do it right now, because it's not as important as the big goals. Let's focus on the big goals and let's not compromise those because uh, uh, we, we, if we do not have those priorities clear in our mind, we will waste our life. Uh, Allah loves the, the, the goals to be big or big things or high, raising the bar high. And he, and he hates the minor things. Many people are just worried or focusing about very little things, very little minor things that makes the total of their life is nothing. When you, when you ask him, himself or her, herself to make an estimate for the last they lived for 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Make an estimate of your life. Look back, have a flashback. What did you do in your life? Almost nothing. But when you look back and you say, Alhamdulillah, I made this and that. You're proud of, of things that you can, good things that you can meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with. Or you can leave for the next generation after you. Those are the things that we need to uh, 
uh, uh, uh, first like uh, do in here. This is not going to happen without having uh, being proactive, without having a goal, being starting with an end in mind, and without setting priorities. To connect the three points, and I, I conclude by that, being proactive is mainly about a mindset or approach. Begin with the end in mind, that's mainly about vision. You have to have a vision for your life. And number three is um, uh, set priorities, it's actually about management. So you have the, good, the right approach, and you have the vision, and you have the management, you continue with the rest of the adat al najah or the habits of uh, highly effective and successful people, you will uh, make a difference, inshallah, in your life. You will uh, be successful in your life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the best of what we hear and, and of what we listen to. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the amal based on the best of what we hear. Jazakumullah khair. Masallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad wa alayhi wa sallam.